process of uh, you know getting here to uh, Nashville to be with the Titans? Um, I mean, I had um, it was other interests, but you know, it just felt like this was the place for me to be, um, especially coming back home with family so close and um, just talking to the coaches, um, being here, being around, just feeling the energy of you know the new staff and the new guys in the building. No, it's not like. It's not like places where you go and, you know, they've been there 10, 15 years and it kind of gets like going through the motions. So you kind of feel the energy and it just felt like a place I needed to be. You know, you part of your job is going to be to, uh, you know, replace a legend in Derrick Henry, one of the most popular players to ever wear this uniform. How much do you think about that? And is there any extra pressure on you? Um, for me personally, not at all. Um, all I'm focused on is, is coming in and being the best me that I can be this year. Um, you know, um, contributing to the team and, you know, just, just winning games. You look, you've gone back even to Memphis, you know, with Daryl Henderson, you've always split split carries. What is it about you that allows you to be effective in that role? And was that something you kind of thought about coming here, knowing Tajay uh, Spears was here? Um, just, just keeping the mindset of, you know, controlling what you can control and making the most of my opportunities and, um, you know, just, just making them count. Um, I mean, we haven't really went into specifics or things like that, but, you know, I'm, I'm coming in, expecting to help, you know, trying to contribute to the team's success. You weren't out on the market very long. Did you enjoy the free agency process? Um, it was a little stressful, but I'm, I'm glad I'm not on the market anymore. You know, I'm glad I found a home and ready to get to work. Tony, how would you kind of describe your type of play, your progression as a running back over the years? Um, I mean, I've definitely grown throughout um, my years being in the league. Um, in all areas, you know, and running the ball in between the tackles, uh, pass protection, catching the ball out of the backfield, just just getting a, a better IQ of the game and just letting things slow down and, and come to me naturally. You mentioned you're catching in the backfield. How much does that help to elevate your game, adding that element to your play? Uh, I mean, that's been a, a big success, a big part of my game, you know, especially coming from Memphis, you know, having that receiver background and um, just being used to catching balls out in space, you know, making plays in the open field and, you know, bringing that in with the running back mindset as well. So just trying to. In that, in that mindset, you've been part of a one-two combo pretty much your entire career with Zeke in Dallas, and now you come in here to pair with Tajay and all. What is that mindset like when you know you're sharing carries with another guy in the backfield every week? I mean, it's the same way it's been for me since day one. You know, control what you can control and, and make the most of your opportunities. And when you get them, make them count. So just keeping that same mindset. Earlier, but coming back to Tennessee, is that something you'd always kind of wanted to do? And maybe how how special is it to be back in the state where you have family here? Um, I mean, it was it was just like perfect timing. Everything just worked out the way it should. And you know, me being from Memphis, born and raised in Memphis, went to the University of Memphis, so I'm very familiar with the uh, area. Got a lot of family out here, so it was just it made sense for me to to be here, be home. Did you grow up watching the Titans? I did. Who were you guys? Um, I was big on Eddie George, um, Chris Johnson, you know, seeing those two guys. For you, a, you know, a fresh start and, and obviously spending time in, in Dallas, a very different franchise, and you said you're excited about the energy here. What specifically with the offense and that what Brian Callahan kind of told you about what they're doing here excited you and, and what they're going to do with this offense specifically? Um, I mean, just, just talking to him, getting the feel for, you know, what he wants to do and, and how he likes to do things this year. Um, you know, he's supposed to be going after some, some O-line thing like that, you know, building the O-line up. Um, we got great coaches, a great O-line coach. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the experience. You know. What do you think about the, the Ridley addition here lately, too? Um, big. That was big time for us. Levis, and you, you paid much attention to him already in his career. You're a good quarterback. Yeah, he's a he's a definitely a, a good competitor. You know, a, a great competitor, a dog on the field. He's one of those guys that, you know, he makes it easy for you to play for once you see your quarterback out there running the ball, taking hits like a, a running back, you know. It kind of gives you a pride playing for a guy like that. Coming back from the uh, like the ankle sprain and leg fracture, your numbers last year just continued to get better later in the year. How much more confidence does that give you heading into this season, being further removed from that injury? Um, I mean that's big. You know, any any big injury that guys have, it normally takes a year. You know, that second year is when you see the the comeback around and, and see guys get to their true form. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm ready to show what I can do, ready to show what I can bring to this team and, and just to contribute.
the Titans fans, some of which you may not have watched, you know, many Cowboys games. What, what are they getting with you? Um, they're getting a playmaker, um, explosive guy on the field, um, home run threat, and again a competitor. I know you were a part of that group. The text messaging about the the running backs. Do you feel you guys have reset the market this this year? Um, I mean, that's something that I say is kind of behind me at this point. You know, the deal is done. We've signed. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to get to work at this point. What, what is it like? You've been the same team t throughout your NFL career. What is it like coming to a new team now, knowing you have to kind of establish yourself again, not only maybe with your teammates, coaches, fan base, and all of that? Um, It's a little different, but, you know, I kind of like it. You know, it puts you in the mindset of, you know, like you got to get it. You know, it's either go big or go home. So. That's how I look at things, you know, with a, a fresh start, a chance to do things over. You know, I'm ready to just make the most of the opportunities and just show what I can do. And you kind of t touched on coming back home again. You got your mom here watching the pressure. How big has she been uh, as part of your career? And how neat to have her here and maybe having family be able to watch you play moving forward? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very big on family, you know, having my family around and um, just being able to play closer to family and, and having them being, having a chance to come more, to more games. You know, that was big for me. You know, that was big in my decision making and, and me being here now. Mom surprised you showing up here or you knew that was coming? Nah, we talked it through. <laughs> Did you get a chance to go see Coach Eddie Woods? Oh, I haven't seen him yet. Nah, I haven't. Yeah, good. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Obviously, aside from the money, what were some of the factors that, that brought you here? What do you like? The biggest factor uh, was Bill Callahan. Uh, his resume speaks for itself. Um, coached a lot of great guys. Uh, Heard a lot of great things about him, so and, uh, I think it's a good opportunity for me to continue to grow my game and take that that next step as a player. I guess, I guess, center, uh, obviously a natural leader on the field. I mean, how how excited are you about kind of taking over that role here with this team, and maybe how will you establish yourself early on? Yes, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Um, first, you know, first of all, I just want to come in and show these guys what type of work I am. I'm not really a, a huge talker, like off the field, but. Um, I just want to establish, you know, make sure these guys know I'm, I'm a hard worker and just show what type of player I am and uh, lead these guys by example. How important is it for you to be part of the culture reset that's got to take place on this offensive line with the struggles that they've had the last couple of years? Uh, it's big. Uh, it's, it's a big part of offensive line play is having a good culture, having a good room, a good group of guys that's willing to play for each other. Uh, and that's what I look forward to, you know, trying to build. <clears throat> uh, first of all, like I just mentioned, uh, showing these guys the type of work, work ethic I have and establishing that because that's what it's going to take for us to get to the level we, we need to get to. What do you know about Will Levis? And have you had any chats with him since joining the team? Uh, texting him uh, yesterday. I know a little bit about him. Uh, just seeing him on, on social media and throughout last season, he's just a complete competitor, uh, tough guy. Seems like a tough, you know, tough, tough guy to play for. So. Uh, um, can't, looking forward to work with him. You just, you just told me just cross paths, I guess. What were your thoughts about him? Have you met Tajay yet? And what do you think about yeah. that running back tandem you'll be fought uh, for? Haven't met Tajay yet. But I know Tony Pollard, you know, explosive back, just seeing him, you know, what he did in Dallas. So you know, looking forward to blocking for him. You mentioned Bill Callahan. How big of a part of the recruiting uh, process for you was he? Oh, it was big. Uh, got the got the chance to talk to Ethan Posick, uh, former center in Cleveland. He's telling me a lot about it, a lot about him. I mean, he raved about him, and like I say, it's just an opportunity that you know, I feel like he can take me to the next next level. What is it about him? I mean, we hear it's almost like a mystique thing since uh, he was, he was hired. Can you give specifics about why guys rave about him and what he brings? He's very detailed. Uh, you, when you get a chance to talk to him, it's just a different level of, of offensive line play that he kind of unlocks. And it's just. It's a lot that goes into this game that we play in. I mean, he, like I said, his, his resume speaks for itself. That detail you mentioned, were there a lot of similarities? I know it's limited conversation, yeah. but in, in that as compared to, you know, when you played under Mike Munch at? Yeah, yeah, some, some similarities. Uh, Coach Munch was amazing, and I see a lot of um, similar you know, teachings that you know, Callahan uh, presented. So, yeah, I mean, look forward to work with him. You had mentioned as a rookie. It was kind of rough for you. You said yeah, it personally, yeah. then year two, and oh, and now you signed, you know, a record-setting deal for the position. What was really behind, like being able to make that transition from struggling to now? Well, I think uh, we just mentioned Coach Munchak. I feel like coming in, he gave me a great foundation. He helped me lay a great foundation of fundamentals, 
I feel like um, since that point, like I said, I've struggled my rookie year, but every year I've gotten better. Every year I've taken a step, and uh, that's what I want to continue to do, uh, take a, a bigger step each year. But every single year I've gotten better, man, and started off with a good foundation. What is the next step for you? Uh, just hopefully a guy that's a consistent anchor, a guy that can to be looked at as one of the best centers in, in this league. How important do you think pass protection is going to be with the Brian Callahan offense, and how well do you think you do that? It appears to be one of your strengths. Well, I think that's important for any offense. We've got to give guys time to make plays, got to give the quarterback time to get the ball to our playmakers, the guys we got bringing it, coming in. So um, that, along with the run game, I mean, is all important. I can get in uh, Sadiq Charles, who was your college teammate at LSU. Yeah. Very, very versatile guy. Has, you know, can play guard, tackle, anything you need him to do. Um, great, great locker room guard. Make great locker room guy. Great personality. Uh, can do it all. You know, other guys on this team. How familiar are you with with other other players that you maybe cross paths with? Uh, was in college with Arden Key my first two years, so I know him. <laughs> great personality. Uh, a lot of a lot of energy, wild, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know Arden. That's about it. I uh, played against a few guys in college, and uh, so just looking forward to meeting everyone else. What was the thought process when free agency started, and knowing you'd be coming to a new team, and now that you're here, what's that like as you kind of start anew? Uh, looking forward to it, man. It's I kept getting the feeling, you know, it was just time for it's time for change, it's some time for something new, and this opportunity opportunity presented itself. Uh, I'm just glad I'm here. You like Rand and, and Coach Callahan and maybe the culture that's kind of starting to build here, to yeah. hope to build? Yeah, yeah. It's, the energy is amazing. Uh, you can walk throughout the building, man, a lot of people smiling and uh, came ready to, to get this thing rolling and uh, set this culture for the future. Did you pay attention at all to the perception that maybe the Titans have struggled on the offensive line? Was that something that motivated you of wanting to come here and turn things around? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I feel like... I guess there's a reason they, they reached out to me. Uh, it, it was a need, and um, with all the other factors, because Callahan and the things they got going, I just felt like it was the right spot. About being here uh, right out of the gate. Uh, really excited. You know, um, this was actually a team I did a pre-draft visit coming out in 2017, so I'm a little familiar with the area and, you know, just you know, seeing a lot of energy in the building, a lot of the guys that um, I met today, um, coaches, staff, you know, everybody just has a smile on their face and really happy. So um, I feel like I'm a fit in. What do you think you bring to this team, and how would you describe your style of play? I'm a competitive guy, you know, um, really physical, technician, and I think. You know, I'm a brother. You know, I've always been a part of a brotherhood or a team, you know, being able to excel in a locker room and a culture of winning. So, you know, when that's the standard, which I feel like it is here, you know, I feel like they get the best of me. So um, I'm really excited to implement what I have and also to earn the respect of everybody in the building. That's my number one goal at first. How much did Denard Wilson, like how much of a role did he play in getting you here? You know, he's a renowned uh, mm -hmm. DB coach. Yeah, DB coach, DB background, um, defensive coordinator. Um, we've spoken briefly already today, too. I'm um, just really excited to get to work with him, uh, someone who has a lot of experience in the game, uh, you know, and the staff that, you know, is here as well, the defensive staff, as well as the offensive staff, but mainly the defensive staff I've you know, met today. You know, everybody's just, I, I can just see it in their eyes. You know, they're ready to get things rolling. So um, it, it's giving me a lot of juice. You mentioned the offensive the staff, the how ball. early, excuse yeah. me, you mentioned the offensive staff, how early did Brian Callahan, you know, reach out to you in, in this process? Uh, when it was legal. Yeah. When it comes to. How much of a relationship did you have with Brian in Cincinnati, even though he was on the other side of the ball? Oh, man, a great relationship. You know, we did a lot of uh, great things together over there, obviously, as a team. And, you know, when you make it that far, you know, we, we all become family, you know. So, um, you know, Coach Callahan, you know, definitely has all my respect. And seeing how, you know, I always ask him questions, you know, on the side. You know, sometimes me. Jamar, T and T B would be warming up on the ladder and Coach Callahan would be standing right there and sometimes, you know, we'd have small conversations here and there. So um, a lot of respect and, you know, probably the number one reason, if not the biggest reason I'm here right now. So really appreciative of him. A lot of people in Cincinnati. Does that, did that make a difference to the, the relationship you had with him? Definitely. Um, you know, I think I played a lot of good ball under Coach Jackson, and uh, seeing him being added to this staff, I was really excited to be able to, you know, replicate and kind of pick up where we left off, you know, to elevate again and make another great leap. 
When it comes to the leadership aspect of your game, a lot of people in Cincinnati said you were that guy. And how much pride do you take in that? I know you're new here to Tennessee, but that's a younger you know, defensive backs room. How do you plan to bring that and incorporate that? I think the number one thing, again, is just earning respect, you know, um, doing what I have to do on the field in the meeting room, you know, getting my body right and letting people see that first. And then, you know, when it's time to speak or to pick my spots, you know, do that. And, and you know, at the end of the day, I'm just being myself, you know. So um, if you're around me, I like to push people, you know, and I hope to be pushed as well. So that's the culture that we're going to try to uh, – that I'm going to try to bring here is just, you know, one that, you know, we're all competing, but in a healthy manner, you know, to make sure that we're all getting the best out of each other. Aggressive attacking defense. You said it. You have that in Cincinnati. It's something Denard Wilson said he wants to have here. What does that mean to you? That means that aggressive in our approach, you know, leave no stone unturned. You know, any question that we have in the meeting room, you know, let's not leave this meeting room without, you know, fireworks flying. You know, let's get it all out there, have uncomfortable conversations on the field as well. You know, obviously, I think that speaks for itself, you know. So football is a physical sport, and, you know, you either, you either attack or be attacked. So I definitely want to be the attacker. So, yeah. You paid attention to what else this team has done in free agency, not just the guys that are here today, but the more guys are coming aboard, and, and how how much does that maybe excite you? Oh, it's, it's very exciting. You know, um, TP, obviously a guy I played with um, in Dallas. Uh, you know, actually Jeffrey Simmons. You know, he trains in Dallas, so I got to talk to him a little bit. Um, you know, just a lot of a lot of great energy around here. Kenneth also trains in Dallas. Met him. You know, when he signed too. So it's like, okay, this is. This is, I'm already getting familiar with this place a little bit. So um, everything that's going on is very exciting. And I could sense the energy as soon as I got to Nashville. What did you learn about yourself last year coming off the injury? And just how tough was that process for you kind of getting back to strength? Oh, I mean, I learned how resilient I am. I kind of, you know, that's kind of who I am. But, you know, when you're put in a situation like that, you know, you kind of have to keep showing up and being yourself, you know, no matter the circumstance. And um, I think I, you know, did a great job of that. You're all the way back to where you were before the injury now? For sure. The, uh, you talk about the energy in the building. What, what's just kind of the intrigue about a, a new regime and a new opportunity in a place that is clearly spending the money to try to turn it around quickly? Yeah, it means that it matters, right? Like some, t some teams, you know, maybe it's just one player or, you know, the, it's just, you know, these little things. But here you could tell that it matters that, you know, we're trying to win. You know, that shows that, you know, the front office and, you know, the GM and they've done a great, amazing job. You know, it's just it's really, you know, they're being intentional. And when you see that and you see the effort put in, I don't know how a player can't understand that the winning is the goal here. So that's what we're going to try to do. And just for the record, would you mind pronouncing your name so we can all hear it? Just call me Cheeto, man. No, nah. yeah. <laughs> nah, so the name is Cheeto, man. I was, yeah. So if you want to say it in the, in the English language, just Cheeto, man, a woozy. In but my language, it's I was, yeah. I was, yeah. yeah. The accent's on the first syllable of the last name. Then. Yeah. Okay. How yeah. many different ways have you heard people try to pronounce it? Too many, man. That's why it's just <laughs> Cheeto or Chi. It's easy. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You had a big game when the Chargers played here um, last September. I think maybe Rand and uh, Chad Brinker were taking some notes that day. Uh, maybe. Um, that definitely was a, a big day. Um, it was it was fun to, to, to do it. Um, there's, there's plenty of opportunity here, uh, Kenneth. Uh, I know they lost uh, Aziz in, in free agency and a couple other guys too. Is that one of the things that, that drew you here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I just feel like you know, you know, being here, um, you know, the energy here has been immaculate. Um, I think this place is up and coming, um, and you know, I just want to be a part of something special, um, building something special. Um, and and winning some football games, and I think, you know, I can come here and be dynamic, um, and I'm really looking forward to that. How much are you looking forward to getting a scheme that seems like it will probably showcase no more your, your athleticism, let you just you know, get out there and play freely the way you're capable? Of? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think those things, you know, my attributes, definitely benefit from being on an attacking, you know, fast defense, just flying around. I think that's what I do best, um, and so. You know, I'm really looking forward to that. You know, had a great conversation with the coaches this morning um, and really excited, looking forward to coming here, getting after it, um, and just, you know, creating a great culture um, and playing some really, really good defense. And when it's Go ahead, get it. Oh, thank you. And how about working with, you know, an OG in the, the linebacker game like, like Frank Bush? 
know, having him as a coach. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he he definitely is an OG. Um, you know, been learning a little bit about him. Um, you know, had a chance to sit down and talk with him this morning. Um, and so, you know, he's been, you know, a guy that's super energetic. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to definitely getting in the room, you know, getting after it, seeing, you know, what I need to work on to get better um, and just becoming the best version of myself. Can you describe maybe how you think your career's gone at this point and maybe what makes you think you're on the verge of maybe even doing doing more? Yeah, you know, I definitely think, you know, I'm a guy on the rise. Um, I think, you know, everybody's journey's different. I think my story, you know, may not have had the storybook um, story that you may, people may have, have wanted. Um, you know, I, I came came out um, and, you know, had some ups and some downs. Um, and I think, you know, after this past season, was able to, you know, put together and showcase my abilities. Um, and I think, you know, you should expect more of that in the future. Um, I just feel like, you know, I was definitely more of a confident player, um, you know, being more of a, you know, confident player. And, you know, the first few years, I kind of, you know, had some some injuries that I dealt with um, and just kind of just getting back to myself. Um, you know, when I play with that confidence, when I play with that fire, I think, you know, I'm definitely, you know, one of the best guys. So how, but, how would you describe your play when you're at your best, your style? Fast and physical, period, you know, fast and physical. I think that's that's what I bring to the table. Um, you know, a guy that's able to get to the ball with a nasty attitude, um, a guy that, that that can make plays all over the field. You said that, I guess, when you, when the team comes after you early in free agency, is there a sense that, hey, I want to prove these guys right? And uh, maybe how much interest did they show when you're right out of the gate, the Titans? Uh, I think, you know, my mindset is obviously to come in and be the best version of myself, um, come in and, and just, you know, showcase who I am. Um, and I think, you know, me being that um, would be enough. Um, you know, I know what I bring to the table. I know that, you know, I have the ability to be the guy, you know, be the guy in the middle. Um, and I look forward to doing that and proving that every day. You said that you're a guy who you feel like is on the rise and you kind of refer to this team as being that as well. Absolutely. It's like an up and coming team. Do you think there's kind of a culture fit there for a team that's looking to kind of come into a new era and build a competitive roster with a big opportunity for yourself? Absolutely. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, I love to compete. Um, and so, you know, being able to come to a team like this, um, you know, we're building something special, um, and I definitely want to be a part of that. Kenneth, you said coming here the energy has been immaculate. You used that word. Yeah. Um, what have the Titans maybe done to give you kind of that feeling? Uh, just being around them this morning, man, you can just feel it from everybody here. Um, it's definitely, you know, a great, great vibe. You know, everybody's excited to be here. Um, and so, you know, when you get that vibe from, you know, Everybody, not just, you know, the coaches, but, you know, the staff, the equipment staff, the medical staff, you know, it's just amazing. You know, obviously we're, we're building something here. We're, we're just getting started. And so, um, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, putting it all together and going out there and winning some games. How many guys you know on this team either <clears throat> played with in the past, played against that you may consider buddies of yours? Uh, not too many, honestly. Um, you know, obviously I've played against, you know, a, a bunch of different guys, but, um, nobody really personally that you know I know, but I look forward to getting to know everybody. Is that kind of exciting for you just to have all this newness, like a, a reset in a way? You're on a different uh, time zone. You're in a different part of the country. Is that just exciting for you to kind of push the reset? Yeah, button? absolutely. Um, you know, obviously, you know, being in a new environment, um, a new state, new team. Um, I'm just looking forward to you know coming in and just showing who I am every day. You had the opportunity to think about a new jersey number yet by chance. You yeah. have to change. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. K nine is is it's not going to be existing anymore. Um, obviously, because of the late great Steve McNair. But um, yeah, I've, I've taken you know some things into consideration, um, and so we're we're going down that journey right now. And when we figure it out, you guys will know. <laughs> Kind of be a three-down linebacker, and, and what are the most important things about being a coverage guy? For yeah, I take extreme extreme amount of pride in that. Um, I, I I think you know with my ability, I can play every down. Um, you know, I take pride in being on the field at all times and being a general. I think, you know, aside from the athletic ability, aside from you know running around, flying around, hitting, you know, I you know I truly do believe I'm a general. You know, I, I'm able to you know get everybody lined up, um, able to you know know the ins and outs of the defense, and I take tremendous pride in that. Much time here, other than maybe playing the game, uh, maybe here in Nashville before. What, you, what were your thoughts about Nashville? 
Uh, Nashville, so, so far, it seems beautiful. Beautiful place to be. Um, seems like, you know, everybody here loves being here. Um, unfortunately, you know, I've only been here for, for a game, and so I'm looking forward to exploring the city. What's your favorite type of food? My favorite type of food, uh, that's a hard one because I like so much. Um, but uh, I'd, I'd probably say, like, I don't know, pizza. I'm a simple guy. But I'm looking forward to trying some Nashville barbecue. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Barbecue and hot chicken. Yeah. yeah. I got to. You're a country, country music guy? A little bit. A little bit. I've, I've gotten cultured a little bit over the years. Um, you know, at first, at first, you know, I was really, I wasn't really a country guy, but um, you know, Tennessee whiskey goes a long way. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, man. Man.